This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make UI elements like the brush and stroke icons to be smaller? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and the question is asking about button elements like these ones over here, and how you can get these elements to be smaller in your UI. So inside ZBrush, you may have noticed that up here at the top, there is this load previous and load next user interface. And by clicking these, you'll be able to switch between different user interface presets. So if I click this load previous one, you're going to see I'm be taking into this compact UI. And you'll notice that those buttons for the material, the texture, the stroke, and the alpha are all using these nice tiny icons now. So these are a lot smaller than the other ones that are the standard default ones. So let's say I want to make a custom UI, and instead of having these be the size of those icons, I want to use these as the size of the icons. So how can I get that to happen inside of ZBrush with my custom UI? So first I'm going to go back to the normal interface here. So inside of ZBrush there is a preference that you need to toggle off in order to get the buttons to appear smaller. And this is located underneath preferences, if I open this up, and then if I go to the interface area here and then open up UI, in here, there is a button called Wide Buttons. Now, if you hover over any of the buttons inside of ZBrush and hold down Control, you get a description of what the button does. So the Wide Buttons switch here is going to make ZBrush interface items, such as alphas, brushes, and materials, twice as wide as they are tall. So you'll notice that over here in the tool palette, these little icons here are wider than they are tall. But if I come to Preferences and go back to that Interface UI and disable Wide Buttons, it's going to disable that functionality, and now you're going to get these tiny little icons. So these tiny little icons are what you're looking for in creating that smaller UI setup. So after you have this option disabled, we can now go to Config and turn on Enable Customize, which is going to allow us to customize our interface. And now we can go to things like the Stroke menu up here, and in here you have the Large button, but you also have this tiny version of it as well. So now I can hold Control and Alt, and then click and drag, and now I can place that button on my UI, like so. And now if I click this button, it's going to give me the same functionality as it would if I click this button over here. And this will work for the brush palette and also the material as well. So I go to material, and here we have the large one, and then right below it we have the small one. So I'm going to hold Control and Alt, drag that over here. Now I have a tiny material button. I can also go to the alpha palette here. Here's our large one, here's our small one. I can hold Control and Alt and drag that over. And so now I have the smaller buttons that are doing the same thing as those larger ones. So that option again is just go to Preferences, go to the Interface tab, go to UI, and then it's this wide button switch right here. And this is going to take those buttons and allow you to generate smaller icons for your custom interfaces. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!